Hi everybody, it's your homeless friend Kai again, and today I'm putting a new bottom in my tent, uh, and I figured, well, I ought to get this on video, well, after I'd already started it. Um, what I've done is I've uh, bought a tarp, and uh, I uh, cut it to about two inches larger than the bottom of the tent, and I have put on some DAP Weldwood uh, contact cement, and with a brush onto one quarter of the tarp and one quarter of the bottom of the tent and I'm going to start with that so that I can line it all up and, and get it glued down properly. Uh, one of the things I noticed about this tent uh, is that uh, the bottom isn't uh, very waterproof and uh, if you set up on a hard surface where the water pools the water will seep through the bottom of the tent uh, and I'm not above uh, modifying stuff to work better, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, now that the rubber cement is dry, uh, or the contact cement is dry, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to glue down this uh, quarter of the tent. Now, I want to start from the middle. Uh, sorry, my alarm's gone off. Okay, uh, you want to start from the middle, and once it's glued down, it's permanent, so you want to make sure you have it lined up. And, oh, careful. Now, you want to start from the center, work your way up slowly, all the way to the edge, and all the way up the side wall of the tent. Work the bubbles out as you go from the center outwards. Work the bubbles all the way to the edge and get the tarp pressed right up the side of the tent so you have a like a boat bottom, a barrier, so the water can't get in at all. Outwards, push your bubbles out, stretch them as hard as you go. Now, I have this quarter done. What I'm going to do is roll up the tarp into sections about a quarter wide so that I can. The bottom of the tent is still a little wet from uh, where it rained, so I'm going to dry that off so I don't have any water when I put the rubber cement down. Now, all of these pop-up tents have negative reviews and, and little bad things about them. Uh, most people don't like them because they're a three-foot circle uh, that you have to carry into camp, and it doesn't pack really well. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's why, I mean, they were developed in 1988, and... Uh, in 1992, they were featured in the blockbuster movie Congo, uh, and you would have thought that would have been the marketing genius ploy that would have made these tents popular, but as easy to set up as they are, they have just as many fallbacks. Um, 
I am uh, I'm not above redesigning it, even if the industry uh, doesn't think that they'll take off. They're still on the market, but they really haven't improved since the, since 1992. Um, and right now, I'm going to mark off where my glue line is. about halfway of the door and then I will lay down a layer of contact cement on the tarp and then on the tent bottom and let that dry. We're going to pause the video for now so it doesn't end up 20 minutes long. Okay, so I've laid down a layer of uh, Contact cement about halfway through, and um, just brushing it on with a brush. And uh, you have to watch it because a tent is not the most well ventilated of spaces to be. Uh, using contact cement, and uh, the, the fumes are very, uh, very toxic, so, uh, so make sure you have plenty of airflow. And uh, I have uh, my little fan here, I'm gonna put that down on here to help the contact cement dry and to uh, keep the temp ventilated a bit, so I don't get dizzy and pass out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna pause the video again and I'll get back to you when I get them a little further along. Okay, so I'm ready to lay down my second section here. And one of the things about uh, contact cement is it's extremely flammable, so you never, ever want to smoke around it, because you will light yourself on fire, and I'm not kidding. So I'm gonna set this down way outside the tent, because I don't plan on burning to death. And I'm gonna get in here, and I'm gonna lay down my second section. Now being very careful, start from the middle, Stretch it out, lay it out, press down, and then starting from the back edge, push forward, pushing out the air bubbles, and getting it right up the edge of the tent. So that I have a barrier. All the way up the side about two inches up the side to be exact. Oh, that hurt. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to be careful. I do what I did, I lay it down a little too soon, close to the end here. Because once it sticks itself, it's pretty permanent. That is a nice waterproof bottom. Well, bring this back here for another quarter, and I'll be able to put that down. Pause the video again. Lay down a layer so it's not 20 minutes long, and uh, I'll get back to you. Now, let me start by saying that there are more expensive pop-up tents on the market, but even with this $15 modification that I'm making, with the uh, $8.95 for the bottle of DAP uh, contact cement and the six dollars for the tarp uh, and the labor that I'm putting into it this is the most cost-effective solution for the 
for the tent that I'm looking for. I'm disabled, I'm unable to set up a regular tent. Um, and uh, it's just not worth the next 200 bucks uh, for a more expensive tent that's probably gonna have the same problem with water seeping through the bottom. Because, uh, uh, I mean, honestly, out of all the reviews I read online, there isn't, there isn't a tent out there that's $200 better than the Coleman two-person pop-up tent. Uh, and honestly, this is a really good tent. It's kept me uh, dry from the top um, really well. Uh, once I get the bottom fixed, um, it'll be it'll be the perfect tent. And I wish they put in uh, more uh, investment into making these nicer tents um, because. Uh, I think that they're underrated. I really do. I think that uh, these tents could have been uh, a lot bigger had more people been into uh, glamping when they came out with the easy tent setup. Um, anyway, I'm letting the contact cement dry. We got another 15 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video again. But uh, yeah, I mean it's a it's a very easy setup to uh, to do this. Um, and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I get this layer gla glued in. Okay, so I'm gluing down the last section here. I don't know how well you can see it. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming along nicely. Slide in here. Uh, again, move it up through the center. Go that part down first. All the way up the edge of the tent. Push it out. Making sure I get all the air bubbles out. I got a few creases in here, but I'm sure that'll be okay. And, uh, Hopefully, if you have to do this, uh, you won't get as many creases. Um, my hands don't work as well as they used to, so I'm gonna get cute. But, uh, but yeah, this is uh, going on nicely, and uh, I have a completely watertight tent now. And uh, I, I have to say, it took me about uh, 45 minutes total. Um, and I think I did a damn good job. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, check the description for uh, my list of uh, things you need if you're uh, homeless and want to live comfortably. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you guys with another video soon.